All right. I want to, uh, well, we've got so much to do tonight, but I want to mention something, a little project that I undertook uh, recently. We have a writer here on the, we have a lot of fine writers here at Late Night uh, who, because uh, I don't just make it up. <laughs> I make up like 98%. <laughs> And then for 2%, we have writers who are overpaid. Uh, anyway, we have a writer here at the show named Andy Blitz. This is his photo right here. That's, that's Andy Blitz right there. That's really what he's like most of the time. Well, recently, uh, we showed uh, a sort of a taped piece where I went out with Andy and I found him an apartment here in New York City because he didn't have an apartment. Um, well, anyway, uh, that was a while ago. Now it turns out he needs to decorate this new apartment. And I started thinking, I'm a very sophisticated New Yorker with refined tastes. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that giggles. Uh, that, and, and I have a lot of connections in the world of interior decorating. And, and so I thought, why don't I do a nice, decent thing? I helped find him an apartment. What if I also helped uh, Andy Blitz decorate his new apartment. Wouldn't that be nice if I actually helped him do that? So uh, I thought we might as well film it um, for the show, just in case anything happens, and see how it all turns out. So take a look now at me attempting to decorate Andy Blitz's apartment. Hi, this is one of our writers, Andy Blitz. Andy, Hi. good to see you. Uh, Andy uh, bought this apartment a while ago and hasn't furnished it yet. Um, and you'd like to furnish it, wouldn't you? I want furniture. Okay, so we're going to help Andy uh, furnish this place. We actually have some help today. This is an interior designer named, step in please, uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Bill Huber. Bill Huber, Jeffrey, good to see you. How are you? This is Andy Blitz. Can we take a look at this, first of all? Um, when someone shoots and assassinates a world leader and then they break into his apartment later on, this is usually what it looks like. <laughs> You've lived here how long? Just, I just moved in just... Recently? Like six months. Six months. Six months, and this is what you've managed to do. Look at this. You have a television that you just put on the floor. You couldn't even find a table. We have a table over here. Why didn't you put this TV on that table? Um, that's for when I... So I don't watch TV all the time. I can work over there. Work on with... And you work pretty much with this. Is that right? The first thing we would do is try to analyze what the, what the qualities are. The best thing about the apartment is looking out. So you've got good light. So good you're saying light. the best thing about this apartment is when you don't look at the apartment. That's, that's, that's pretty when much When you right. look out the that's window. Right. These are, these are built-in shelves. Or, or did you buy them? Did you buy this? Did you buy it, or was it in the apartment when you came? I'm sorry, I'll speak his native tongue. Kung chao tepo, sham dia, no yis tenga. I see this room, and the term self-loathing comes to mind. Why have you just been lying on the floor on a mat? Are you Gandhi? Can we do anything with this crack? There's a crack that runs, hey, it runs right from the bed up to the ceiling. You must have been, <laughs> right? Woo! Right? Just like Gandhi. What do you think about this for Andy's bed? Yeah, you can have you can have some romance. I'm not so sure if this is going to work for you in, in terms of trying to keep that masculine quality that you're looking for. You like that? You can't see me until the wedding. <laughs> you know, this is a rejected cover for Harlequin Romance. They, <laughs> this is the cover for the for the novel Forbidden Summer. These are rocks? Rock candles. Right. So it looks like a rock, but then... Put them in the garden, you know, on the windowsill. Are all rocks candles? No, no, no these are specially made. These, these are specially made. Specially made to melt one way. When he was born, um, he, the cord wrapped around his neck. We didn't get out of that. Two and a half minutes. So... You do it. Goes up. Gives you full storage on the base. Look at that. It's amazing. Just lie down. Okay. This is. You say if you if at any point you're being killed, <laughs> let's just go. Hey. 
what does it say to you? Give me your opinion. It says tradition. You, it says you know, Andy might want a more uh, traditional classic interior, perhaps you know, with an English slant. I can't get it. Oh, it's really long. Long. Oh. it's long. It's not for you. How much is this? Well, let's see. We have it on yeah. a special one. Uh, look at the lean-in. I love so, the lean-in. You tried to kiss me. You can have a bidet in addition to a toilet, but you can't have just a bidet. Right. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Because all the bidet does, it just, it just, whatever you did in the bidet would get fired around the room. <laughs> what you're suggesting, then, is a toilet and a bidet, and then a giant window a giant, at, on, on, at street on, on level, street, street. so people can look at Andy yeah. while he's in the... I think this is it, baby. That guy looks mad. This is about helping me furnish my apartment. What do you mean? This is exactly... We're just sitting on a fake toilet and bidet. They're not, they're real. But they're not actually hooked up. They better be. I just went. <laughs> they did. I, about five minutes ago. I didn't, no one told me these weren't hooked up. This is a very modern idea for a bathroom. I see this a lot now when I go to idiots' homes. Pretty cool, look at that, you like that? There's this... Is... Look, it's foam. Stick your face in that and stop it. It's not foam, it's metal. This was Gary Coleman's toilet. This was um, worth a lot of money. Gary Coleman had to sell it to make bail. What was this? Uh, Can we talk about that? Uh, some scientific labware. Oh, <laughs> this is scientific, yeah. That explains why Thomas, Thomas Edison was always eating cookies, right? <laughs> This is great. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. You're very ashamed of what's happened here, aren't you? Deeply. Break, folks. When we come back, Deborah Messing is with us.